Hello beautiful people of the internet. I don't even know where my lens is. I think it's somewhere there. I should be looking there, but if I look there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My name is George Feel Good. I think I should lower the volume down here. It's a Thursday today, I think. Yeah, it's a Thursday. Uh, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm actually in the city of Snellville. Very, very nice. Very nice city uh, I'm at some place called racetrack came here to get some coffee um, I'm here in Atlanta for a week before I, I well a couple of weeks actually a couple of weeks I'm from Oregon Portland Oregon I'm driving an Oregon licensed vehicle in Atlanta can you imagine that Drop all the way from Portland, Oregon last year in September with my better half then I flew off to the United Kingdom and only come back a week and then yeah I'm here for a couple of weeks now. Uh, this video is for anybody and everybody who's kind of in between thinking about should you quit your job or should you stay but you're not happy with your job. Atlanta or the city of Georgia, so the city, Atlanta. It's very unique. I stayed here. I used to live in Atlanta in the early 20... Between 2005 and 2010, I lived here and then I moved to Oregon. It has a circle around the freeway called 285, I-285. And there's a going joke, there's a running joke in the city of Atlanta, the state of Georgia, that some people were born in within 285 and they've never ventured outside. 285 for reasons known to themselves either it's insecurity or they're too happy in their little worlds and so forth so this message is for you if you feel closed down claustrophobic and you feel like the walls are closing in on you you have to wake up every single day to go to a job you do not like right now it is 12 32 it's a beautiful beautiful be I, I wish you could experience what i'm seeing here beautiful beautiful day just sunny just warm I, I i cannot stress that enough it's just one of the most beautiful days in the city of um, atlanta and uh here i am i'm not in an office uh by by no stretch of the imagination i'm not like filthy rich or anything like that. I, I am good i mean i'm well looked after these things that I do online, they, they really help me sustain this lifestyle, if you will. It's, it's a lifestyle unlike any other. I used to work for, I worked for Comcast at one time. Comcast is huge in the city of Atlanta. It's huge. I used to work for Comcast between, I don't know, before 2011. And I left that job. I did a construction job. They came to me in the construction job and, I said, and told me, you're not cut up for this job you cut up for an office kind of environment please you know you're gonna hurt people just go so i wasn't even suited to do a construction job and, and then i fell into the idea of internet marketing the idea that i could sell something to somebody regardless of the time i could be asleep they'll be purchasing regardless of the time difference right now it's 12 30 here in, in on the east coast it's 9 30 on the west coast and it's after um, 12 it's almost 5 p.m 5 30 i think in the city of uh, london so wherever you are or, or wherever people are your customer your base if you're selling something on the internet just think of the global audience of people that could potentially see your product whether you're selling that product using page traffic be it be through Facebook or the myriad of platforms like Tabola uh, that we could be using um, there's nothing like freedom from the 9 to 5 I, I used to wake up with goosebumps just not wanting to go to work and then sitting in traffic this city is one of the most horrendous traffic in, in, in the whole country uh, apart from LA and uh, New York there's just so much traffic at any given time you just feel closed in <clears throat> excuse me so if this is you this is a message to you I don't even know who you are why you even watching this and there's a reason maybe you're watching this if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself you really would like to quit your job 
really want to find financial freedom, this is the United States. You gotta hustle. I'm from South Africa, so if somebody from South Africa can do it, you can too. You have to hustle. Think of it this way. Right now you're trading your time. You're in a cubicle. Trading your time for probably 10, 15, 20 dollars an hour. And then you have to go home five, six, and you have to do it again, all over again for five, six days, perhaps if you're in retail. It sucks. I empathize with you. I've been there. And yes, it's, it's not that easy to transition and say, look, I just want to go and work and do my own thing. But you have to start somewhere. You know, you have to start somewhere. It's where the pain intersects, intercepts with, with the pleasure. Do you derive pleasure from going to work and being with people you don't really enjoy socializing with or working with? Or would you rather be at home and just enjoying yourself? It's not about fancy cars. It's not about that. It's about the lifestyle. It's about enjoying being with your friends, your loved ones, and going to sleep at night feeling better about yourself. Trust me, I, I've lost it all before. I, I've done crypto trading, I've done uh, stock trading as much as anybody will tell you you can make money in stock trading. I, I don't like being on a platform or in an environment where the odds are stacked against me, like Wells or Wall Street as the case may be. Case in point, GMC and AMC, GME and AMC. Uh, a lot of people have lost money. Some have made money, a lot have made money, lots have lost money in the same breath. The art, there's no way for me, I'm speaking about myself, I'm not speaking about in, in general, I'm speaking about myself, where one day I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to make money, then the next day, boom, I've lost it all. I still have a Robin Hood account, I have a Charles Schwab, I have a Think or Swim account with Ameritrade, and I just don't use them anymore. The funds that are in there, they're just sitting because I'm, I just don't like sitting in front of that computer day in and day out, just trying to predict something that is stacked against me because some institutional investor with a billion dollars thinks they have a better leverage against me. I, I don't like those odds. What I like about internet marketing is promoting a product that I know somebody's already searching for it because I can see from the keyword search results every day that there is demand then just trying to do a little bit of math to say okay if I'm gonna spend so much per click multiply that by a hundred people you, you wanna get all this it costs uh, you wanna see your rate of return you and your, your ROI as the case might be and out of a hundred people, how many people are either buying or subscribing to your newsletter? And are you making a profit out of that? And if you are, how much more can you spend? So in other words, if I'm spending a hundred dollars today and I'm making back 130, 140, 150, to me that's a positive ROI because then it shows that it's replicatable. I can do it all over and all over and all over. So if I spend 500, I'm going to make 500 times what 15 percent or 20 percent whatever the case may be that to me are the odds are stacked in my favor because i can see what i'm doing and i can stop the ads whenever i want if i'm in a stock and i buy it and it plunges and well, i'm on hands i'm gonna hold on to it until it shoots back up chances are it might not or maybe i want a dollar cost average down and it keeps on dropping and dropping and dropping. Somebody on YouTube recently posted a video about the stocks that Jim Cramer had, you know, recommended to buy. And they showed how they had performed in a period of one year. Most of them had lost at least 80% market value. So those odds are not in my favor at all. There's no way I'm going to invest in something that is, which is why I feel working for myself doing internet marketing, finding products I can promote, whether it's e-commerce or whether it's just digital products. I know there is demand because I can see from the keyword research that I'm doing, people want those products. 
the odds are stacked in my favor. So you're watching this, you're not sure what you want to do with your life. You know you want to get out. Maybe this is your wake up call. I'm not saying follow me, even though I do teach internet marketing. By no means am I saying, hey, here, follow what I'm teaching. No, all I'm saying is follow your muse. Follow what feels right for you and just do it. It's gonna be hard, don't get me wrong. You can work, there's no reason why you shouldn't work if you're trying to balance out your stock and you wanna raise the funds to be self-sustainable. You can work, there's nothing wrong with that, but going to work because you just want that paycheck. Uh, that's, that's, I don't know, that's not luck to me. I came to the United States to enjoy the fruits of my labor and I feel I've just achieved that and I'm enjoying it. Seeing the sun as beautiful as it is today, just driving around, I might go to Savannah.